Hi and welcome back to Introduction to Adobe Fireworks CS5. In this video I want to introduce you a little bit to the main Fireworks window so you can see where the different controls are as we begin to um, explore what they do. Up here at the top, something that should be very familiar to you, you have a menu bar and that should be familiar if you've used any application before. And below that menu bar you actually have a little toolbar ribbon right here. And again that toolbar serves the same function that it does let's say inside of uh, Microsoft Word or Excel. It just gives you a quick way to access the different commands that you use frequently. For instance we have a save button right there as well as an open button right there. And we'll see more of what these buttons do um, a little bit later on. Now, a very important area is this area over here to the left, and this is your toolbox. Now, the controls in the toolbox are actually divided up into several different sections to help you um, remember what type of um, chore they're good for. Up at the very top, you have your selection tool, and most of the time we're going to be using this pointer tool. But there's also a few other tools here that are come in useful, especially the crop tool and the subselection tool. And again, we'll deal more with what all these controls deal with inside of uh, this series. And then down below that, you have some tools that are used to work with different bitmap or raster type graphics. For example, you've got a couple different selection tools here. You have an eraser tool and a pencil tool. And these are all tools that work on uh, raster or bitmap images. And then down below that, you have a set of tools specifically for dealing with vector objects that are on your page. You've got tools to draw lines and rectangles um, or other shapes. You've got the text box tool right there, as well as some other special controls. Now, you're going to notice that some of these tools have a little down arrow on them. You'll see that in different places. Whenever you see that down arrow, that means that that tool can take different forms. For example, I've got my rectangle tool here, but if I just click on it and press and hold, you can see the different forms that this tool can take. It can become an ellipse or a circle tool, a polygon tool. You can work with any of these other predefined shapes as well. Rounded rectangle comes in handy often um, when we're trying to create some different kinds of web layouts. I'll go ahead and select back on rectangle here and you can see the little marquee tool there. I've got a couple different options there. My rubber stamp tool here has a few different options that I could select from there as well. So always look for that little drop down arrow and whenever you want to see what's on a button all you have to do is press and hold and that little menu will come up and allow you to select a different tool. So we've got our vector tools there. Then you have some tools here for specifically dealing with web graphics. And we're going to look at this tool in a later video, the slice tool, for slicing up images for use in web layouts. And then we have our color section down here where you can choose the eyedropper tool to pick up a color or the paint bucket tool to dump some color into a particular area or a particular shape. You also have a color picker here for the stroke or the outside outline of an item, as well as the fill color right here. And there's also some view tools that we'll deal with a little bit later down there. So these are going to be some of the main tools that you're going to be coming back to again and again as you work with different graphics inside of Fireworks. Now, if we look all the way over to the other side, to the right side of my uh, panel, you're going to see these items right here. And these contain additional settings and controls for allowing you to work with different kinds of objects and documents inside of Fireworks. Now, your panel may not look like this over here. I've gone ahead and I've collapsed it. And you can do that by clicking on this little arrow here. If I click that, you're going to see that the panels expand, and I can now see them. And I can click on them to jump from one to another. And a lot of people don't like that. I don't like that it takes up quite so much room and that you can't actually see these uh, titles very well in here. So what I always do is collapse this panel down. And I can do that again just by clicking that double arrow with the gray bar at the very top of this panel area. And I click that and it collapses down into these buttons. Now when I want to go to a particular section, I just click 
and it pops out for me. So you can see the different pop outs there. And if there were different um, tabs within this group, you'll be able to click on them just by clicking up top. For instance, here I've got Optimize, History, and Align. And up at the top of this pop out, I've got Optimize, History, and Align. So everything in that group will be represented in that toolbar there at the top. If I want this to pop back in, I just simply click that double arrow again, and it comes back or goes back. Let's look at the next group here. I'll click on Pages, and you'll see I've got Pages, States, and Layers, each one of the buttons in this grouping. So again, it doesn't matter whether you prefer it this way or whether you prefer it this way, just as long as um, it suits um, the way you work. And then down at the very bottom of the window, we have the Properties panel here. So we have our Toolbox here, our Panels here, and our properties here. And right now I'm showing the properties for um, the current tool that I have selected, which is the rubber stamp tool. If I was to click the selection tool, I would see properties that come up for that, or the marquee tool, or the rectangle tool. Again, whatever tool you have selected over here, or whatever object you have selected on your canvas, that's going to be what the properties show up as right in here. So I click back on that selection tool. I now go back to the canvas properties. So we're going to come back time and again to these properties uh, panels to work with them. And then the main area on your screen is actually the document window. And you're going to see up here at the top we've got a tab for our current document. And you can open up as many documents as you want inside of Fireworks and it'll just become a tab right up here at the top in the same way as you were able to open up different pages inside of Dreamweaver and very quickly click on the different pages to do different kinds of uh, work. Another feature that we're going to talk about a little bit later is going to be pages and layers and that'll become in, uh, very handy for you um, as well. In our main document window you can see the ruler right up here at the top and over to the left and that's measured in pixels and again the upper left hand corner of um, my canvas is zero zero. So that's a basic tour of the window that we're looking at here. In the next video we're going to go ahead and look at how we can select different kinds of uh, objects inside of fireworks.